everybody while we are here playing pity pat everybody say hey <laughs> um welcome to mars we are here on vacation but i was making a quick family dinner i thought that i would let you guys see so um i already put the meat in the oven but what we're doing is cheeseburger sliders if y'all haven't ever done it it's so simple and easy so what i did and you can take a look in this pan and you can do it in a 9 by 13 but i didn't have it in this in um in the house we're at um in this pan it is two pounds of ground beef and then i had just got some montreal steak seasoning and i seasoned it up but season it your way i put it on 375 for um, about 20 minutes to have and it. And then you get the slider buns and you add the cheese and the diced onions and everything and it's so wonderful. So I'll show you how to put it all together when we're done. But uh, we are in our families, um, our entire family, my grandmother, my beautiful soul of a grandmother um, kept, the, kept the summer beach house in the family. So that is where we are. We are having a blast. We're probably all sun kissed. We were at the beach. Say hello. We were all at the beach. Sid's mad because we're, uh, Mel's trying to teach him how to play Pity Pat, a very old school game that is really cool, but she keeps losing, so she's, she's feeling a little salty. So, um, but that's where we are right now. That is what, what we're doing. doing. I have a helper have here a helping me peel the onion. I'm still waiting. All right. And he's a little grumpy too because Nine. his second year molars have decided to come in Nine. on vacation. Nine. Nine. All right, give it yes. a little you know you want. Don't eat my onion, okay? Put it down, bro. Whatever one you want. Let's so on. let me just tell you what we've done so far. I've got about three more minutes on the meat. The meat is ready. It'll come out of the oven in about a minute or so. About eight minutes in, I went ahead and put a uh, like a quarter. I diced a quarter of the onion. And before I stick the buns in the oven, so normally we do this with um, Hawaiian Hawaiian rolls, but I actually came across, they were on sale, um, the actual slider buns, but it was the last pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and toast the bottom. So I'm going to throw those in the oven when I've got a couple minutes left on. While everybody's screaming and you see somebody's happy now because she's... You well, I so, did, I had these we're gonna toast that up a little bit soggy because I can't stand a soggy bun and then I'll show you how to put it all together super easy ground beef or your ground of I guess your choice because you could do this with chicken and everything too I like the um we dice up the onions kind of like you know a crystal burger or a castle That's burger or what have you that is what um or Ooh, white castle good. is the idea Simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and no, I did not add any essential oils into the meat, although I have done this before with other cooking. Okay, so this is what we've done so far with the sliders. Because I didn't do, I do so at home, you know, if I had all of the stuff with me, I would have my 9x13 pan, which would press it in to make it long enough to fit the 12 buns. But since we did it in a square pan, it only fit for nine. So I'm going to remove these three. You take it out of there, you drain the meat, and you have those nine, you have those buns right there. So I will definitely do something else with these sliders. And then Sid, you're going to help me. <laughs> you're going to help me by getting the cheese. And then we're going to layer this with some cheese. Okay, so now Sid, you have the cheese. All this is hot, so be careful that doesn't burn. So what you're going to do is you're going to start laying the cheddar cheese Sliced cheddar. Yep. There you go. Be careful, this is all hot. Okay. So, it, like again, if we had the others, we would definitely do six slices of the cheese. So, what we're going to do now is get the top, the tops to the buns. Okay, so now we've got the top buns. And so what we're going to do, they're all still attached. Now, if I was at home, I would have melted butter and I would have put in some sesame seeds to make it all professional looking. But again, this will be okay with some fries. Mm -hmm. We have the other three sliders that I do have some more meat that I wanted to saute up because I like with mushrooms and all of that. So we've got, I'll saute them up and so they will not go to waste. And this will be what we do. How does it look so far? Good. Yes, very much so. All right, so we're gonna throw that in the oven for 
um, just long enough so the the meat was in the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes so it is cooked through um, so really what we're waiting for is for the cheese to get all melty so we'll show you what it all looks like when we're done I'll probably spray the tops with a little with a little bit of oil to get a little color on it but other than that so here we go with the second batch I'm gonna cook this all together slowly and um, again just sprinkling in the simple Montreal steak seasoning. I just got this. Normally I'll do salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, everything. But you know, you don't want to buy a whole bunch of stuff when you're on vacation. So this has just about everything you need. So I didn't see the um, hamburger seasoning. So I am excited though because I've got all of these good old mushrooms. It's going to be so good. You know, I wish I had Swiss cheese because this could have been Swiss sliders, mushroom Swiss sliders. <gasps> I think I need to go to the store. Jose is going to carefully mix those seasonings in, break up the mushrooms, and I'm probably going to just throw in the diced onion and just kind of let that go slower. I always eat later than everybody else, so they also, um, Sayana and Sid, work together to put french fries in the air fryer. Right, girlfriend? Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I have to, oh, I need to retwist this one. It's coming undone. The beach and the, the beach and the pool. I love these twists on you guys, but I need to redo. Maybe that'll be another video. It's so easy and I love their hair like that. But there we go. So that's going to be, I guess, mom and dad's batch. And um, I do have to run to the store because my little teething guy is just not feeling the best and he's getting a little cranky. We'll see if I've got anything there to make them feel better. Plus, we need some plastic right, utensils for the kids. Yeah, especially the boys. I don't like giving them glass. So Here's the final product along with some french fries. I think the kids will be very excited. <laughs> They're, of course, uh, not because I'm used to, like I said, not the slider buns, but the actual like um, Hawaiian rolls. And all I do is cut them in half so that all the bottom stay together and all the top stay together so they got a little they got a little um, unlined like right here but that's okay because we could always just scooch that over so that's not a problem that's not a problem but those look good so nine sliders nine sliders right there and I'm going to slowly add in a diced onion and then just have all that going nicely in the oven while I run to the store. Okay, so this is the final product for everybody for dinner. Um, again, like I said, I went and slow roasted the, um, the a pound of meat with some onions as well as some mushrooms. And um, for Mel, I've got these other sliders that I'm going to put some on. And then the rest of the meat, when I ran to the store, I got some portobello mushroom caps. So... I will be tearing that up and the kids will have, you know, the rest of the family will have the buns and it'll be all gravy. I'm so excited. Hey, so how is it? It's good. You like it? Can we turn off Coco Melon, please? Robo. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious. All right. So that is dinner for the fam and then I'm about to tackle mine. Say say. Is it good? Mm-hmm. He's thumbs up. It's good, Roman. You got a thumbs up his back. <laughs> you know how this goes. You got thumbs up this man back. So who? He gave a thumbs up. He said, it's good, say say. He actually he said your name. Back at home. He actually said your name and didn't call you Sydney. Oh. Stop. Yes, from it. It's good. Thumbs up. Thumbs good, up, Roman. buddy. All right. Everybody eat. Oh, that's okay. Lick. Stop it, Millie. Good lick. Or you Just rub. put it. There you go. What you think, sir? Is that it? I mean, what else you want? That I'm it amazing. amazing. It was wonderful. I've never eaten anything so. <laughs> my palate is as it's a part of my mouth, and everybody's invited. It's Ew. All <laughs>
Wait, What you have to say? Say bye. Bye. <laughs> so I have thoroughly enjoyed my low carb version of the burger sliders using the portobello mushrooms, the mushroom caps with the mushrooms and the onions and the beef, you know, in the ground beef mixture were so filling. Like I only could eat one, and they're big caps, so. The other one will be for lunch tomorrow or again for dinner. It was really delicious. You guys have to try this recipe. Let me know in the comments if you like it or not.